Here's a quick way to update your Zendesk knowledge bases right from within RoboHelp itself. No plugins are necessary. Just configure your RoboHelp output with a simple account and password and publish direct. At its core, Zendesk is a help support system. It takes questions from customers and pulls them all into one place where you can organize and manage them. With a robust knowledge base, customers receive service faster or even solve their own issues. As a technical author supporting the Zendesk platform, you can provide timely updates without ever leaving RoboHelp. Here's the home page of the Zendesk site with the two category tiles. Think of this as the portal that will contain all your information articles. Announcements, frequently asked questions, updates, all are searchable and accessible from this interface. As preparation for publishing from RoboHelp, you will want to go to the settings in Zendesk under the API tab. Enable the API authentication using your agent's email address and password for access. OK, it's time to look at the RoboHelp project to see how we can accomplish this. Note in the contents how the folders and topics are organized. In this case, categories and sections. Topics in RoboHelp become articles. Note especially the search keywords for this topic. Here I'm adding publishing as a search keyword. Here's another topic and more metadata search keywords to prime the pump of the search engine and filters. Next we'll create a custom table of contents. The easy way to do that is to drag and drop from the contents panel. Here we take the folders and files that map to the categories and sections of our Zendesk knowledge base. From the edit menu, click Publish Profiles. From the server type drop-down, we select Zendesk Help Center. Give it a name, Zendesk, and fill in the site URL as well as the user ID and password. To be compatible with the Zendesk platform, we will choose a content-only output preset, which is XML-based. We then select the user groups that can have access to this information. Selecting the Visible To and Managed By from the drop-downs will provide users access to categories predetermined by your Zendesk setup. Next, we can prepare a Publish Profile specifically for Zendesk. Many of these customer relationship management platforms do not support CSS, so to keep our formatting, we will convert all styles in our CSS to inline styles. We can also elect to upload any images and even linked documents such as PDFs, PowerPoints, and the like. It happens that JavaScript is not supported by Zendesk. That will affect any JavaScript drop-down or expanded hotspots or pop-ups in your project. So if we want to keep our JavaScript features, we will need to go here to the Zendesk Guide settings and tick Content Moderation and configure the security settings to enable JavaScript for expanding and drop-down text and pop-ups. Having done that housekeeping, we can then tick the Include JavaScript item in our output preset. By clicking Edit Publish Profile, you can publish your content direct to the Zendesk site with one click. It's time to generate and send our content to Zendesk. Here's the home page portal of the Zendesk website with the two category tiles. We can see that our custom table of contents of categories and sections works well with the Zendesk structure. Also, our topic article retains the typography and styling of our original RoboHelp topic. Here in a search for the word connection, our topic came up because of the search keyword we put in our RoboHelp project. Adobe RoboHelp, helping agents help customers quicker. For a personalized demo or questions, please write to us, techcom at adobe.com.